COVID-19 has impacted millions of people this year, leaving some families with an empty seat at the table this holiday season. Taylor Hicks spoke with a licensed therapist, Bruce Kahn, about some ways to help you cope with holiday grief. 50 years. <laughs> Most people don't last that long nowadays. Charles Walsh says his wife, Victoria, was the love of his life, the kind of person that was rare to come by. We did everything together from the age of 18 on, and for 51 years, we had a really good life. But 51 years wasn't long enough. Last year, Walsh lost his wife to COVID-19. It's been, it's been hard for me. I, I didn't think it would be this hard. Whenever I go around the house, I just see her everywhere because she put all the stuff into this house. And the holidays don't make it any easier. She's done a lot for the family. As a matter of fact, she did everything for the family. You know, she sent out all the Christmas cards. I can't say I'm very good at doing that anymore. Or oh, making the meals, as a matter of fact. I'm not a great cook, so I just kind of either go to the store and get something or just go without some nights. He says his first holidays without Victoria were hard to get through. Many people this year are in his shoes, celebrating the holidays without their loved ones for the first time. The holidays seem to highlight how difficult this time might be. It may be the first time or the second time to have this Christmas season without that family member, so it, it feels even more painful. Bruce Kahn, licensed therapist at Piedmont Medical, says it's important for people who are grieving to acknowledge the feeling. Talking about those lost family members, uh, writing about them. Kahn also says you can cope with grieving by following through with old family traditions or connecting with neighbors or friends at work. Walsh agrees and says it's important to cherish the memories and still enjoy today. I, uh, I do miss my wife and I think people should cherish the times that you have with your families now because it could be taken away at any time. Reporting in Perry, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. And Bruce Kahn says if you start to feel extremely overwhelmed by the grief, it's important to talk with someone so they can help you navigate through the grieving process.